Hello, welcome to the, this tutorial of MIT App Inventor. I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial, we are going to make a mobile web browser using MIT App Inventor. So let's start. So for this, we are going to use Web Viewer to show the website. And then we need an horizontal arrangement which with this will parent a text box buttons yes so now here we will put this button so this button is for back this one for forward so here you can see back button and forward button instead of typing this text you can also put an icon like a back arrow and front arrow which you can see in different browsers but I'm just going to put text and this button is going to be reload And then at last, a home button. So you can arrange these buttons wherever you want. I'm going to put back, forward, and then this text box to type the URL. So let's, let me put the hint as URL. And let me put the width to be 60%. No, it's too big. 40% would be good. Yeah. I think 45 would be better. Let me just change it. Now it looks okay. Back forward. The URL text box. Reload and home. And here we can see the website. So you can also make many things like bookmarks. So how to make bookmark in MIT App Inventor. We will learn this in the part 2 of our web browser tutorial. So this is part 1 of web browser tutorial in which we will just learn the basic functions. In part 2, we will do how to add bookmarks and then, and then go to the bookmark in MIT App Inventor. Yes, so now let's start doing the blocks. But before we start, Rename this button. So this is back. This one is forward. This one is reload. And this one is the home button. Yes. Now let's go. Let's rename this text box to you are L text box. Yes. So now we can do the blocks. When screen 1 initialize, so when the screen is initializing, we need to make this web browser to go to URL. So the URL is going to be the Google URL. So here I put the Google URL because it should be the home page. So whenever the app is starting, the default home page is going to be this one. Yes. So now let's put the URL text box. We also need another button to navigate. So let's put this align horizontal to be center. And this one is going to be go go button or navigate so uh, after they enter the url they need to click this button to see it like we do in chrome we press enter like that they need to click this button so now this is button one when button one click call web viewer one dot go to url the url is going to be text url text box dot text this one yes so now I'm going to put the back button 
then back click the viewer one dot go back so if you see here you can see go forward and then go back and then even reload so now before we do it like this if if it can if it cannot go back it will give us an error for example now they are going to google.com they are opening this web browser for the first time and if they click back where will it go because there is no back at all because they are opening the app for the first time so for that we need to check if there is back for that we are going to use if condition if web viewer one that can go back so this will return true if web viewer can go back in the history list so if this is true equals to true then only we need to put web viewer one that go back or else we don't need to do anything the button will not work because it doesn't need to go back as there is nothing in the history yes so now for forward we need this forward button when forward click let's just copy paste this should be web viewer one that can go forward if it is equal to true then call web viewer one dot go for and then for reload we don't need to put an if condition because they can reload any time they want so now for reload let's just put when reload click call web viewer one dot reload and then for the home button we need to go we need to go to google which is the home page so you just need to copy paste this one and screen initialize put the same url here and it will work. So we finish the back, forward, reload, home. And even when button one click. And now our part one of web browser is over. And let's test our app. I think the home button is not visible when I test it. So we can make this with automatic. I think a little more smaller. The width can be 30% and then the home button is still not visible we can also put the home button here yes you can arrange it like however you want but I'm putting it down you can also put another horizontal arrangement and test it yes so now let's see our app we can see our web browser app so let me put the URL here. So I'm going to put this one. Mail, Gmail. So I'll go. Here you can see that the Gmail website came. You can zoom in and then zoom out too. It looks like a real web browser which we have made. So now I'm going to go to back. It went here. Forward. It went here and it's working. And reload. It's reloading and coming. So now if I go to home, it, it, it goes to Google. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe, like and share this video. Goodbye.